Okay. All right, then. We need to still, uh, you know, continue our countdown to the Olympics. One forty, two days to go, and um, someone who's been there and done it before, double Olympic bronze medalist, Marion Yali Magbemi, who incidentally now is a special advisor on sport. She's also been speaking on Nigeria's, uh, the state of Nigeria's readiness uh, for the Olympics and what has to be done, the things that have to be put in place uh, for Nigeria to excel in Tokyo. All right, let's. We're okay, talking about yeah. um, Mary Yali, Mary yeah. Yali mm -hmm. because uh, she's a special advisor on sports Absolutely. now. And uh, uh, that's someone who is very experienced, very exposed. So, actually, when that uh, appointment was made, I was very, very happy. And um, to see her working closely with the sports uh, minister, who for me has to be one of the you know, the best in a long time, yeah, absolutely. perhaps in my lifetime, never seen a sport minister work this hard yeah. uh, in terms of, you know, putting things in place for Nigerian uh, sports and um, seeing them working, uh, you know, closely uh, gives me a uh, uh, joy and I'm hoping that all their plans, everything that they have, they've put in place, you know, comes uh, to uh, fruition. And uh, I don't know if, all right, now let's go and listen to uh, Mary Onyali now. Uh, she's been speaking on Nigeria's uh, preparations uh, for the Olympics. And uh, we'll come back. Our guest, Rutsumi Akidele, will be joining us. Two, three weeks, down, I mean, months down the line, since the launch of the project in uh, December 16th, 2019, we've seen a lot of progress. About seven or more athletes have been adopted, and more are still being adopted. On a daily basis, we're getting phone calls about those that have been, the information of, of them have been sent out to the adopters that they are willing to pay. And, the, and some new adopters are also calling in to say they are interested to adopt more athletes. At, at present, we have 80, 85 athletes on the adoption program. Only those that are Olympic bound, the 11 sports that are Olympic bound. It takes quite a lot. One, I've spoken about it, is the welfare. The second is the mental state of mind of that athlete. It, it's also included in the welfare. But if that athlete is not in the right frame of mind, as far as personal issues, we get to, at the, at the elite stage of an athlete going to the Olympics, for example, you go beyond just training Monday, uh, Monday to Friday, eating right, sleeping right. You have to go as deep as their psyche. You have to know these athletes in and out and be able to relate with them on that level. Because if you give them all the workouts in the world, the best workout in the world to get to the Olympics, and they are not mentally ready to do those workouts and absorb them properly, you'll be wasting your time and your money. So we, the ex-internationals, starting from myself, we do speak to these athletes on a daily basis, one-on-one. -on -one. We get to know what their issues, what, what issues or challenges they're having on a personal basis. And we're able to talk them out of it and solve some of them as need be.